Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to show you the beginning of a relish recipe that I got from Linda's Pantry. It's her hot dog and hamburger relish. And what I've done, I have shredded with my KitchenAid uh, grater on my KitchenAid mixer. I just went and used it. And I grated 11 cups of zucchini squash. And then I used my Power Chef and I whizzed up in little bitty, bitty, bitty diced pieces four cups of onion and a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. And you put that in your bowl and you toss it with one third of a cup of canning salt. And that's to get all of the liquid out that's in here. And it's already started working. But I think it's so, so pretty. This has to, to sit for 12 hours to, to let the salt draw the liquid out of the vegetables. And so I'm going to let this sit. And then at the end of the 12 hours, when I'm putting all the rest of the ingredients in, you add all the rest of the ingredients and then you bring it to a boil and simmer it for 45 minutes. Then you jar it up and water bath it for 15 minutes. So when it comes to the next stage, I'll come back and show y'all what we're doing next. I think it's gonna be yummy. She said every time she ever served this, people wanted to take jars of it home with them. Okay, um, my relish has been in the refrigerator with the salt on it overnight, and I've got it down into the sink, and I am um, well into a colander sitting in the sink trying to get all of the liquid that I can to drain out. And when it gets through, I will put it in a big old pot and add the rest of the ingredients and I'll bring y'all back and we'll make hot dog relish. Okay, I've got all of it in the pot and it has to simmer for 45 minutes and then we'll jar it up. Okay, I'm back. I want to tell y'all the process on this relish. The first thing you do is you finely chop or shred 12 cups of zucchini, 4 cups of onion, 2 red bell peppers, 1 green bell pepper. And then you toss that with a third of a cup of canning salt to pull the moisture out. And you cover it and put it in the refrigerator for probably at least 12 hours. And then you strain it. Just let it drip through for a while and get as much of that liquid out as you can. And then into your big pot, you're going to put two and a half cups of sugar, two and a half cups of white vinegar, a tablespoon of nutmeg, a tablespoon of turmeric, four tablespoons horseradish, one diced jalapeno, and a half of a tablespoon of dill. And you mix all of that together and you bring it to a boil. Then you turn it down to a simmer for uh, 45 minutes and then we will um, jar it up. Now while it's simmering, it's going to thicken a little bit. It's going to be almost like the, t the texture of your bought relishes that are a little bit of juice in them but a lot of crunchy goody. So I'll bring you back when it has uh, finished its set 45 minutes of simmering and we'll jar it up and then I'm going to water bath it for 15 okay, minutes. My, um, Relish has been simmering for 45 minutes and see it's turned that turmeric relish color and I'm getting ready to get jar it up and I put it into the water bath. So let me get me a jar out of the oven because that's where I keep them hot after I get them good and sterile. And I love this um, I don't remember what brand it is, but I love this thing to load them with. Doesn't have a lot of liquid. Now, I don't know if mine cooked some extra liquid out, but there's not a whole lot of liquid in here. Let me debubble it. Okay, I have my vinegar ready to wipe the rim with. Whew, that jar's hot. And here's my hot lids. And rings. Finger tight. And I will go ahead and sit this one down or set it or down into the hot water. 
here you go, one down. I think it'll make six or seven pints. We'll see. Don't remember how many Linda got in the video that I watched. I think she got seven though. Oh, that's so good. I got me some while ago, wiped with my vinegar. Get all of the goodness off that dripped on there, if it did. Now, Sears, the pot got everything hidden. I don't know. Another one is ready to go into the hot water bath. I'm going to finish filling the jars and putting them into the hot water bath and then I'll show you when I get them all in there. Okay, I've got seven pints in the water bath. And I have a half pint left over that I'm just going to put in the refrigerator. I'm going to tell you something. This is absolutely delicious. Okay, I got seven wonderful pints of relish and my half pint that I'm putting in the refrigerator. I think it turned out beautiful and the flavor is amazing. So I want to thank you one more time for coming by the kitchen and visiting with me while I made relish. Now I guess we just need a burger or a hot dog to put some of this on so we can try it on food instead of just out of a spoon. Y'all come back again tomorrow and we'll make something different. And please subscribe if you haven't. And tell your friends about the channel. And if you have any type of food request, I may not do what the request is and I'll be honest with you about it. But if there's something you'd like to see, tell me in the comments below. Y'all have a blessed day.